Well, there's a lot of buildup, a lot of anticipation about last night's debate. And this morning, there is a lot of hand wringing among Democrats over what was widely seen as an uneven performance from President Biden. You, you have the morals of an alley cat. I didn't have sex with a porn star. There's no question there were some unusual exchanges last night, but early in the debate, in a raspy voice, President Biden struggled to respond to some of the questions. Look, if we finally beat Medicare. Well, he's right. He did beat Medicare. He beat it to death. And while former President Trump at times frustrated fact checkers, he cast doubt on Biden's fitness to serve. I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. White House officials said the president was fighting off cold. Still, the two traded barbs on abortion, inflation and immigration. And at times there were some personal attacks. The only person on this stage is a convicted felon is the man I'm looking at right now. His son is a convicted felon at a very high level. After the debate, the vice president defended her boss's performance. It was a slow start. There's no question about that. But but I thought it was a strong finish. The president and first lady wrapping up the evening with a visit to a local Waffle House where Biden was asked about the debate. I think we did well. Now, there is another debate scheduled on September 10th. We'll see whether that happens. There are a number of Democrats now that are talking openly about the possibility of replacing Biden at the top of the ticket. In Atlanta, Doug Luzader, Fox News.